Hello and welcome back to UiPath Expo Hub. Today we are going to learn about the regular expression. Right now we are in chapter number 7 uh, where we would write the regular expression to find the email address. Alright, so let me open up the notepad for you. So this is the entire data that you have and from the entire data you have to identify all the email address. Okay, all the email address you need to find out. Now another thing you need to know about the email address that your email address may have different domains. You know it may have .com, .org, .net, .int and there are different various forms. Okay, so it might vary from uh, you know 2 to 5 you know in length. So right now you see 3 letters there are 2 letters .in right. So there are different uh, domains that you have. So it might vary from 2 to 5. So how do you ensure all of this uh, email address are fetched from this notepad, right? So let's see that. Let me introduce myself, myself Rakesh from Expo Hub. We create regular videos and all the videos which would lead to become a UiPath expert. We come up with more practical examples, not theoretical, but rather practical examples. So we would request you to subscribe to the channel in case you have not. Please do like all our videos, please do share with your friends and please do comment what you felt about this video. Alright, so let's get started. So here is my regexr.com site and let me do one thing, let me copy the content okay, and I will paste it and I need to create the, you know, I need to create the email address, uh, the expression. Okay, now the first thing just to uh, avoid confusion what I will do uh, anyways I have all the email email address at the bottom so that should be enough for us to understand. So what I will do with this I need to understand and write the expression which can capture all different kind of email address. So some has underscore, some has dot right it's a varieties of different kind of email address that we can see. Okay, before we uh, get started, you need to understand the caret symbol. So the caret symbol, what it does, so if I write uh, RAK, so what happens? It is selecting RAK. So the RAK, let's say, if I write A, B, C and then RAK, even it is getting selected. So when I put a caret symbol, what happens? That is above your 6 on the keyboard, 6, right, above that you have. So when I put it, what happens? Caret is something, it will pick what is in the beginning of the sentence okay so you can see the last one is not highlighted because rak is not at the beginning of the sentence okay and the other one we need to also understand the dollar symbol so when i say dot com so what is happening the dot com is getting selected wherever it is available so if i write something like dot com right so even this is getting selected so what happens when i put a dollar symbol this is just opposite of caret symbol okay so it will identify anything which is at the end of the sentence okay so caret and dollar is very useful and you need to understand how it works so you got an idea so let's start writing the expression so the first thing i will do i'll use a caret symbol to indicate the beginning of the sentence and here i need to write so what i will do i'll use two moon brackets and then two square brackets and in that I am going to write the your uh, you know Rakesh 87 for you it can start from lower A to lower Z or it can start from upper A to upper Z so there is no comma nothing you have to write simply you have to put like this okay or else it can also start from 0 to 9 it can also have numbers right it can also have numbers or else it can also have something like uh, you know underscore it can have an underscore or else it can have a simple hyphen hyphen is a special character so you have to use a backslash okay otherwise if it is not a special character you don't have to use a backslash hyphen is a special character okay and then again uh, they can uh, it can also have a dot right it can have a dot so these are the various ways uh, one can have after this if I use a plus sign what is the uh, what is the meaning of plus sign plus sign means it's a quantifier match one or more of the preceding tokens so preceding tokens means just before that whatever we have written so if it is one or more 
right if it is one or more if i don't write what would happen see it is only selecting r right it is not selecting the entire value so if we, if i use plus it will select everything one or more okay so now the first portion of all our emails has been selected even though it has a dot it has a hyphen or a underscore everything been selected okay now after that you have at the rate so for at the, at the rate you simply write at the rate so at the rate got selected after that gmail.com yahoo.com uh, or any 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 kind of uh, .com addresses will come so for that how to write so again we will follow the same format again moon bracket and then square bracket and a to z it can have a to small a to z or it can have uppercase a to z or it can have 0 to 9 any kind of letters can be there right uh, and then it can also have uh, it can also have a underscore or it can have again is the same pattern it can have a hyphen or uh, you know it can have a dot so again it's the same format as like the beginning one okay and then all you give is plus sign so when i give a plus sign right now only g is selected right so after the moon bracket if i give a plus sign you can see everything is getting selected even that is not correct so i have to write something for the dot com so for that what i will do i'll simply okay so now for the dot what i will do i'll again use a backward slash and a dot so what what is happening now with this it is selecting until the dot clear after that i have to select the dot com so for dot com again i will write the similar way again two moon brackets and two square brackets inside that and here i have to write it can be from small a sorry it can be from small a to small z or it can be capital a to capital z right and then um, uh, it, it will not have a number dot com dot in there is no number here right there will be no number so in the domain there will be no numbers it will be dot com dot in dot edu and dot gov comment site right so there will be no number so now what i will do this one right this one should have either two character to five character okay two to five right and this should be your preceding i'll be using a dollar symbol for that so what would happen that should be at the end of your this one so this expression is good enough to pick any kind of email address so what i'm going to do here i'm going to copy this expression and go to ui path okay and here in the ui path so i have already explained in the previous chapter but let me also explain it here so first thing is i am using the read text which is reading the file and uh, the output is stored here read notepad okay and the notepad is nothing but this one it is reading all the data from here so once it reads it is storing the data in the read notepad then i am using the string matches and here is the configure regular expression for this this input is read notepad so it is reading all the content from the notepad and then here in the configure regular expression what i have to do i have to go to advance so anyways you have an email which is more advanced so you can select advanced and here you need to replace with the expression that we have just written okay so this is done then click on save and the output comes in in the i numerable variable which i have explained in my previous chapter which is the object type which will contain all the email address from the notepad okay it will contain everything if it is 9 10 11 12 14 100 or 1000 it is going to contain everything here then i am running a for each loop which has a type argument of object this is very critical it has to be kept as an object because i i numerable is an object type it's an object okay and what is uh, many people will not understand what is the object means uh, let's take an example of a car okay so car has a car door so the car door is an object so the way it is designed it it remains that way right it doesn't uh, until unless you remove it and put another object with, with a different style it remains the same right all the properties of the car uh, window or the door remains the same so object is something like that so once it is created it, it will remain as it is so this is an array i numerable is an array 
whatever data is fed into that it will remain as it is it will not be changed dynamically you cannot feed more data take out more data you cannot work dynamically so it's an object so it will remain as a fixed thing so we call it as an object okay so this object i am going to run in the for each loop and one by one it is going to log all my email address over here in the output panel okay so everything is done let me save it and also let me save the notepad file save okay one more uh, small thing you can do in the configure regular expression sometimes the in the the caret symbol and dollar symbol sometimes it doesn't work then remove them out i have removed it okay and click on save and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to run this and see if it works okay so you can see how nicely it has pulled all the email address okay all the email address do you see so this is a very useful technique uh, regular expression and to pull out something out of a string out of a good amount of data is some this will be very very handy and useful okay i hope uh, this has given enough idea as to how regular expression can be written to pick the email address and i hope you like this please do uh, hit on the like button please do share uh, this video with all your friends who are learning ui path please do comment what you felt and what all improvements or what are what all other videos that you are looking for you know i am making a list of all the requests coming from all the subscribers and all the viewers uh, and we are going to come out with some video right uh, so please do comment what you felt what you need what help you need and please do subscribe to the channel and thank you for thank you everyone for the support till now have a wonderful day